Uh, so we're going to look at finding a percentage of an amount. So let's choose the number 52. Okay, we're going to find all these percentages with the number 52. So 100% of 52 is the whole thing. Okay, so percentages always go up to that 100%. All right. So if we're going to get 50% of 52, we need to divide by 2. So what is half of 52? If you're unsure, we're going to use the bus stop method. So we want to look at 2 into 52. So 2 into 5, we know go twice. Remainder are 1. And 2 into 12 go 6. So we know that 50% of 52 is 26. If we're going to get 25%, there are two ways of doing this. We can either divide 52 by 4, or because we've already worked out 50%, we just need to half that again. So we're going to get our 13. Okay. Lastly, this one here is the most important percentage. You're always going to use this 10%. To find 10% of any number, you divide by 10. So 52 divided by 10, you've got to imagine that you've got that decimal at the end. It's going to move in. So you're going to get 5.2, okay? 5%. Now we've found our 10%, we can use that to find our 5% just by halving that. Also, here we did 50%, so we could just divide that by 10 to find 5%. So you're going to have your 2.6 for that one. And if we've got 1%, we can divide our 10 by another 10 or your original number by 100. So you're going to get 0.52. Okay, these are your most important percentages. You need these to answer any question. There are two more percentages that you need to remember. These two are 0.5% and 0.1%. So 0.5%. From our value before, when we got 5, we had 5%, which was 2.6. So to get 0.5%, we're going to divide that by 10 again. So we get 0.26. Our 1% from before was 0.52. So we're going to divide that by 10 again to get 0.1. So we'll get 0.052. These are your most key percentages to remember. Once you know all of these percentages and how to work them out, you can work out any percentage of any number. So we're going to have a go at a few examples. We're going to do three examples, and then you'll be able to do all of them. So your first example, let's work out 20% of 45. Okay, 20% of 45. We don't know how to get 20% straight away. So we're going to use our key one, we're going to find 10% first. I know that 10% of 45, I need to divide by 10, so I get 4.5. To get from 10% to 20%, we're going to multiply by 2. So I know that 20% of 45 is going to be 9. My second example, we're going to look at one where we've got to do a few more. So let's look at 45%. Let's do it of 180 this time. Okay? 45% of 180. We can't get that straight away. There are a few ways of doing it. I'm going to do a way that most people would go to first, which is finding our 10%. Finding 10%, we divide by 10. So I'm going to get 18. I need to get to 40. So I'm going to times this by 4. Okay? You can't use a calculator. You will not have a calculator with this. So you're going to have to do the column method, or the grid method, whatever you prefer. 8 times 4, we know is 32, carry the, two, uh, carry the 3, put the 2 down. 1 times 4 is 4, plus our 3, we get 7. Okay? So we know that 40% is 72. We're nearly there, we just need to get 5% now. We know that 5% is half of 10, so we can half our 18 and we get 9. To get our 45%, you're going to add your 72 and 9 together. So we know that 45% of 80, 180 
is 81. Now this last example is going to be the hardest and it will be one of the hardest questions that come up and that's when we have these decimals. So, let's do 18.3% of 80. So this is going to take the longest. So we know here we want to split it up into the percentages we know. So I know I'm going to need to find my 10%. I'm also going to need to find a 1% and a 0.1%. You can find 5s, etc., but I'm just going to do it this way first. So 10%, we know, nice and easy, divide by 10, we're going to get 8. 1%, I need to divide my 8 by 10, so I get 0 0.8. And then again for 0 0.1, I'm going to divide my 0 0.8 by 10, and I'm going to get 0 0.08. Now I've got these base percentages, I can now start to use them to work out what I need here. My 10% is fine, I don't need any more with that. I need to get 8%, so I'm going to times my 1% by 8. So I know that 8 times 8 is 64, so here I'm going to have 6.4. This one here I need 0.3%, so I'm going to have to times this one by 3. So I know that 8 times 3 is 24, so I'm going to get 0.24. Once you've done this, all you need to do now is add them together. So we've got our 10, we've got our 8%, and then we've got our 0.3%. Once they are all lined up, fill in your zeros and add down, you're going to get 4 we're going to get 6, Point 0.8 plus 6, we're going to have 14, so our answer would be 14.64, and that is as complicated as finding a fraction of an amount can get. That is all fractions of an amount. Make sure you remember 10, 1, 0 0.1, 50, 1%, and then you can work out any fraction of an amount. Alright, have fun.